Ever had that killer coding project idea burning in your mind? The one you know could be amazing, but then reality hits. And you remember just like me that you don't know how to code. Forget all that, because today we're installing just the right app that requires little to no knowledge about coding. Let's jump right in. First up, we need Alima. Just as before, head over to the Alima website. I've put a link in the description for you and download the installer for your operating system. Once downloaded, just run the installer and it's pretty much a next, next, finish situation. Simple as that. After that, make sure that the Alima app is running in the background and that's it. Next, we're going to install Pinocchio. Now, Pinocchio, if you don't know, is the one resourceful person you've always wanted in your life, which makes your life much easier. And trust me on this. Just like Olama, you can grab the installer from the Pinocchio website. Link also in the description. Download, install, and you're done with Pinocchio. See, we're already making progress. One quick thing. As we downloaded Pinocchio, it should automatically download all the necessary prerequisites for us. But for some reason, I continuously got errors running bolt.diy, so I decided to install them myself. All right, moving on to node.js. Head to the node.js website. You guessed it, link in the description, and download the recommended version for your system. Install it just like the others, and we're ticking off another item on our list. Once you're done, test it by typing node dash dash version and npm dash dash version. If both commands spit out version numbers, you're good to go. If not, consider installing it again. Now for Python. Python is essential for a lot of AI stuff. So go to the Python website, link is waiting for you below, and download Download the latest version, run the installer, and make sure to check the box that says add Python to path during installation. Just this is important, it. so don't miss that step. Once that's done, Python is ready to go. Once installed, verify it by typing Python double dash version. Almost there. We just need Git. Git is a tool for managing code and files. Get Git from their website. Link in the description, are you surprised? And install it. The default settings during installation are usually fine, so just click through. Once installed, open your terminal or command prompt and type git version to verify the installation. Okay, with all those prerequisites out of the way, let's get to the exciting part, downloading our AI model. Remember downloading Alama? Now head over to Olama website and click on models. Then on the top, you can see DeepSeek R1, but if not, you can always search for it. So we're gonna grab the DeepSeek R1 distilled 8B model. This is a fantastic, powerful language model that's also efficient to run. And this model is a huge quality and performance bump as compared to other models because the other model's output is not that good. That's why it is so trending nowadays. Now, copy this command and paste it in the terminal and press enter, wait for it to download. And after downloading type slash buy to exit and we're good with the model. For extra AI power, let's set up the Google Gemini API. This allows bolt.diy to use the Google's powerful AI models as well, giving you even better output. Head over to this link, which you can found in the description and sign up and then click on get an API key. Copy this API and go to Pinocchio and head over to this section and paste the Google API here. After that, hit save and let's boot bolt dot DIY. And now for the moment of truth, testing and running bolt dot DIY. Click on the start button. Pinocchio will automatically start it without you needing to run the server. That's why I said Pinocchio is a lifesaver. After that, click on this open WebY button and it will open the bolt dot DIY local server. Wait for it to load. And as you can see now, you're able to select the AI model for use. Now make sure Alima is running in the background and just click on this drop down and select Alima. As visible, the DeepSeek R1 model is automatically selected if you don't have any other Alima models. But if you do, just click the drop down and select the required model. The first time you run it, it might be slow due to Alima loading the model. But after that, it will respond pretty quickly. Try out some prompts, generate some code, see the DeepSeek model in action. And if you had set up Gemini, give that a go too. Experiment, have fun, and share your experiences with YouTube in the comment section below. Now wait, the video is not over yet. I also have some things to say about it, how I tested this, and what what are my thoughts? So here they are without any filter. Honestly, it's a pretty fun and amazing open source project, but it's not practical yet because I was not able to make fully functional web apps from this. And it is pretty limited also due to the limitations of the AI as local AI models cannot handle big context windows. But even with Google Gemini, which has at least 1 million token count, meaning 1 million context window roughly, none of the AI I was able to test was worth the time except Claude. But even Claude has limitations and was not able to help me build full-fledged e-commerce website using bolt.diy as the current most frustrating issue
issue with bolt.diy is that when asked for changes, it writes the code from beginning instead of fixing the code on a particular line. So it makes a ton of mistakes. Also, if you're just starting out and don't know how to code, this will be a pain in your flat. So my advice is to just use this for fun and exploration and don't rely on this or waste your energy on trying to make full-fledged apps from it. And yes, it is limited to web apps only. For now, even the paid version is not able to make Windows or Android apps. So yes, it is pretty limited and could not replace a real human coder for now. But let's hope it becomes better and better in the future. And it should be able to assist not to replace the actual humans. So if you found this video helpful, make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos and consider liking it if you enjoyed it. But for now, it was all from my side and catch you in this next video. See ya.